Hi Apple lovers and welcome to another eBay selling guide. In this episode, I'm going to give you my top tips on how to look after all of your Apple devices. So when it comes to reselling them, you can get the most money for selling your old phone so you can afford that upgrade or your new iPad and you can get a better newer generation. So welcome to the Tech Hub. So one of the reasons I came up with the idea for this episode is because the amount of devices that I get sent that have clearly not been looked after, not even cleaned to resell it and send to me. Uh, and that's one of my bugbears as a first impression on receiving a device. It's not even been looked after and cleaned for me as a customer. Uh, so let's start off by talking about daily cleaning. Um, I have a um, routine in the morning. As soon as I'm dressed and good to go, I clean my I, my two iPads, my phone, my work phone. Um, and what I recommend, and you don't have to spend a lot of money here, for about $7.99, and this is the, the actual one I, I recommend. I've been getting it for probably a year now. Geronix Screen Cleaner It is just a screen cleaner, but it works great on both, uh, obviously, the screen and the body of the devices. So I just spray a little bit on. Now, it does come with a cloth. However, I recommend you get two cloths, one for the wet, so applying, um, the chemical and one to dry it off. This is particularly useful on uh, iPad screens and phones where you have buffed in the wet, there's still um, like a, a dry layer uh, and this really buffs it out really nicely. So that is my first tip on looking after your device. So let's start with the iPhone. Now there's a couple options here. First off, screen protectors. Now, um, this is actually the, my current iPhone uh, 15 Plus is the first time I have got a screen protector. And that's pretty much in line from me starting my eBay shop and realizing actually for a little amount of money, you can really look after your device for the entire year. So one of the bugbears and where you really are gonna lose value on a resale of a phone is the screen condition. Now, I don't know why I was so against it before, probably because it's, it's you know, the naked iPhone is just such a beautiful device. Um, and I was always a bit snobby with it, but actually I have gotten used to it very quickly. So there, there's many options on the market. So this is a cheap one. Uh, it's a tempered glass one, usually in two packs as well, which is good. Uh, and this will set you back around about $5.99 on, uh, on Amazon or eBay. Um, and you know, it does the trick. Now for my iPhone, so the newer device, I would invest a little bit more for $15.99. You've got the Spigen um, Glacier Easy Fit. Now, one of the reasons I liked it is it came with an application. Usually with the cheaper ones, it's just, just the screen protector. You kind of have to line it up and you know, there's gonna be air bubbles if you don't take your time. And if, when you are applying these, put the top down first and let it kind of gravity do its thing and you'll see it, it gets stuck. Um, even the cheap ones do come with like a cardboard, um, let's call it a scraper, uh, to help you get rid of those air bubbles. But take your time and obviously using a screen, a screen cleaner, make sure that the, um, the screen is clean before you apply a screen protector. And these often comes with little cloths as well and, and, and wet wipes to help with that. Anyway, so back to this Spigen one. The um, well, reason I liked it, it came with this applicator. So you put the screen protector on it, put the phone on it, and you kind of do this, and it, it helps get a good seal in the right place and helps you, um, and helps prevent getting any bubbles, uh, which is really the only negative side to these is there could be air bubbles. I think I've never had it 100% and there's always been little ones, but you soon get used to it. And actually, once it has been applied, you're good to go. And like I said, I, I barely notice the screen protector now. Um, and I know that my original screen is in very good condition when I come to take it off to resell it. Now, secondly, with phones, there, of course, are cases. So Apple do make their own cases. Obviously, they do a clear one. Now, this starts from £49, as do their uh, silicone ones. Um, and those are in options. The clear one's good. Obviously, you choose the phone. You've, you've chosen a color. You kind of want to show it off. Uh, this helps 
show the color that you like, even though the 15s are a really pale color, right? So if you want to jazz it up a bit, you can get a color option. And I think this one matches my, let's call it pale blue. I don't know what Apple call it, but let's face it, it's very pale blue on the verge of white. Uh, add some color to your phone as well. Now, of course, there are third party options available from eBay and Amazon. And you're talking anywhere from nine pounds. For me, if it's a cheap phone, get a cheap case. If it's a more expensive phone and you know it's your pride and joy, I mean, this device you probably use all day, every day, you might wanna go for something a bit more premium, which will last, last the, the, the test of time, um, look good and protect your phone at the same time. Let's talk about any options for the Apple Watch neck. So I have the Apple Watch Ultra. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't use any protection for this at all because it, it's designed uh, for rock climbers and people going outdoors. Do I look like I do that? No, I don't. But this is the best watch on the market at the moment. And because of the materials it's made from and the screen, uh, I've had it a year. There's not one mark on it or one chip. And I think my daily routine helps it keep nice. However, there are some options on the market. Of course, you can get a screen protector for it. I got a third party one off of Amazon, which matches the look of my Apple Watch Ultra. So it does, you know, when it does on, it still looks like an Apple Watch. However, it does make it, if you can see the thickness of it, it does make it a more chunkier watch. And these are available for all the different series of Apple Watches and the different sizes. This has set you back about $9.99 on Amazon. Now, Apple do actually sell one on their website, which is an Otterbox Edge Echo. And that is from $19.95, which is quite expensive for for this but if it's on Apple's website it's a more premium product. The other option of course if you are a traveler it's a carry case. Now I do have a carry case I just use this these for all of my Apple watch straps. Yes I'm a bit of a collector and I'm hoping that they never change the connector on the watch otherwise these will all go to waste. Um, this will set you back around $9.99 on Amazon or eBay. Apple do sell one on their website. It's the Von Helhazen uh, watch portfolio for $99.95. I don't see the point, but if you have got the, um, the cash to splash, again, it's on Apple's website. It's a premium product. Now let's move on to iPads. Now, very similarly to iPhones, you've got the same options, screen protectors and cases. So screen protector wise, like I said, these start from about $9.99. Often you do get two in a pack and obviously just make sure you get the right one for your screen size and your generation. Now, if you have an iPad mini, I particularly um, recommend the paper fill, so especially if you use an Apple pencil, it does feel like writing on paper and these are very, very good products, very sturdy as well. And it protects your screen. Now, this is one of those cardboard scrapers I told you about that, that helps get rid of your bubbles. So don't panic if you put down your screen protector and there are bubbles, a little bit of work with this does wonders. Now, case wise, again, Apple cell cases, different colors. This is one for my 12.9 iPad. These start from 69 pounds. So again, it is more expensive, but being Apple, it's, it's a premium product. The, the build quality is, is, is great uh, and they're very sturdy and they're all folio so you can stand your iPad up to. There are third party options. Again, these start from about 14, 15 pounds, depends on your iPad, depends on the website, but of course, Amazon and eBay sell plenty. Um, you know, it's a good case, this third party one, it's not as premium as these. So if you're, again, if you don't have an expensive iPad and you just want to protect it, there's some really good budget options. If you have a top notch iPad, go for Apple, go for the premium. Now, lastly, let's talk about Macs and MacBooks. So for any MacBook, um, there is the similar option of screen protectors. Now, um, Apple does sell one on their website from Kensington which is $59.95, it's quite expensive. I got this third party one for my MacBook Air M2 uh, for around about 15 pounds. I'll be honest with you, it's a two pack. Um, I got it when I first got the device. Um, I put it on, I, I, I really didn't like it. It was really hard to put on number one. And number two, I just, unlike an iPhone where I, I got used to it pretty quickly and my iPads, I just couldn't get used to it on my MacBook, so I don't actually use it now, but you have this as an option. 
Now you can get hard shell cases for MacBooks to uh, protect the body. Apple does sell one by Incase for $54.95. Again, a bit pricey, but it's a premium product and it's got Apple's stamp of approval because they sell it on their website. Third party wise, there are other options. And again, you can choose different colors and such. These start from $13.99 from Amazon or eBay. Now, of course, I'm assuming you've got a MacBook. You've, you've got one because you like the portability of it. And of course, there's several carry cases that you can get. You can get a third party uh, carry case, something like this for around about $9.99. Um, it's really soft inside. It just helps protect the body when you do transport it. And of course, you've got your pockets for all your dongles or your charger and such. On Apple's website, they have an Osprey carry case from $34.95, which isn't too bad, actually. I was quite surprised with that price. Uh, anything less than 50 quid accessory-wise from Apple is a pretty good deal, and Apple sells that directly. Now, when it comes to your Mac desktops, of course, you know, this is a stationary device. Um, you should have it in the same place all the time. Uh, regular maintenance of that would be dusting and just now and again cleaning the body. Uh, but hopefully, you know, there isn't any specific products for a desktop setup, but just use common sense. Have it in a nice, safe place. Under a desk is good. Or if you do have it on the desk, like you want to show it off, like I do my studio. I mean, this is covered anyway. It's handy. I need, I want to raise this anyway, but this is protected. Now and again, I'll clean it. And now and again, I will dust it around the air vents. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and you've learned something. Uh, please drop your ego at the door when it comes to having a naked Apple device. Remember, Apple also recommends that you do use cases. Um, so if it comes from them, you know, you want to look at, you spend a lot of money on your Apple device, please look after it. Um, tell me any of these tips that you're going to use. What do you use? Is there any products that you recommend to use to look after devices to retain its value? Anyway, please like this video, subscribe to me, and of course you can follow me on threads and Instagram at TechWorldsHubUK. Um, and I'll see you on the next episode.